how to link Power BI to the project layouts. And to do this, we will use a new visual called Synoptic. So let's go to our Power BI file. Let's open new page and go to our store. So get more visuals. Okay. And let's search for Synoptic. So let's hit Synoptic. Okay. Let's search. And this is the one. So before we add it, just let's see. So the idea of Synoptic is to link any layout or any map to uh, the Power BI. And they give you a tool. So it's online tool. This one, let's go for it. So this is the address here, Synoptic Design. Okay. And you simply can just drag and drop your uh, layout. So this is our my layout. I will do it only for the ground floor just one floor, just an example. So this is my ground floor and I have five areas, technical, offices, storage, main hall, shopping gallery, okay? So the idea is to define each area and to put a unique ID for each area. So we, to do this, we can just hit this tool and you can do a rectangle, but unfortunately our layout doesn't have any uniform shape like rectangle or square, something like that. So it's not practical to use this one. So to use, there is a, an alternative way to go for Inkscape, okay? They have a free software. So you go to download and you can download it from here, okay? So once you download it, you can let me open it. I downloaded it already. So this is the software. Okay, you can just drag and drop your file here. So this is my file. Okay, uh, I have five main areas. I have the technical office, the storage, the main hall and shopping gallery. So the idea is to make areas and define ID. So let me show my areas. Okay, remember this is my activity code here, podium area, and I'm doing for the ground floor. So the ground floor, I have technical offices, I have stores, I have main hall and galleries. So let's put it together here. Uh, here, technical, this is the green one. I have offices, this is the blue one. And the storage, the yellow one, the main hall, the red one and the shopping galleries is the magenta one. Okay, so uh, the idea is to put uh, define these areas and put the ID, okay, to the layout so I can link the code to the layout. Okay, so I use this tool. Okay, and with this tool, it's a bin. I'll put the boundaries of any area. Okay, so it will be defined here. Okay, here, and let me do it for uh, make it magenta and do the next one. We are doing for the technical area now. Okay, let me do it quickly. I'm putting the boundaries of my area. Okay, and once I reach to my start, it will be defined here. Okay, and let's make it green. And let's do it one more. Okay, this is now we are doing the main hall of the hotel. Okay, I'm not doing it perfectly. I just want to show you the idea. Okay, and now defined. Let's do it for the offices. Okay, and one more for the storage. Okay, so these are my five areas, fine. Now we want to define the... So we have to go to uh, object properties and this will open up for us. And now we, go to, we need to define the IDs for each area to match with my codes. Okay, so this is the yellow part, which is uh, storage. I have to go to my Excel sheet, my storage, and I have to copy the ID. Okay. 
and we have to put it here in the undefined ID here and we can put the label this is optional label is okay I have to hit set otherwise it will not be detected okay now we are going to do the offices let me get the ID okay this is I have to select my offices yes this one okay and put the ID the label is optional okay and hit set again set is very important otherwise nothing happened okay now we are doing for the main hall okay which is a red one Okay, this is the main hall. Headset. Okay, the green part is the technical. Put the label, set. Okay. What else? So galleries. Okay, that's it, that's it. Okay, so now all the or are defined. So okay, so now we need to uh, delete any layers. Okay, so we select all our items. Okay, select all and cut control cut. Okay, and remove this layer and paste again our layers. So all of them on the same layer no layers i don't i don't want any layers so the, all of them they are on the same level okay now we just need to uh, decrease the opacity so i can see what exactly behind my highlight so just make it 50 percent for all of them so see i can see now what is behind once i have it in my power pi i this is how i prefer it So I'm decreasing the opacity for all my areas. Okay, what else? Uh, yes, this one, the green. So offices. So now, okay. Now we're going to save my our uh, file. It will be saved SVG file. Okay. And now we can go to our Power PI file. Okay, we will add our visual, so it will open up here. Now, we, yes, it will give you a confirmation message. Let's open it. This is our visual, okay? And to show our layout, you have to put category and measure. So I will open my code, put the value here, and put the description in the measure, okay? so. Now I have the option to choose my file, which I, yes, this one, this is my file. As you can see that it has been detected. So once I put my cursor, it will give me my areas. So, but if I want to show the colors, go to data colors and show all. So these are my colors, see? Now all my areas has been have been detected, okay? Perfect. So this is how it works. I can just change in the format. Okay, make that a label. Okay, and let's make it bigger. Okay, see, so now I can see all my areas with the label. I want to remove the ID. So I've just put only the data value. So here, I have only the area name. Fine. And it is interactive. So I can, for example, if I see this is linked, this is my code, link it to the task table. Okay. So it is linked. So I can use this layout as a filter. How? Okay. I can put in the tool tab here. 
I can put the progress. So C is getting the progress from my task table. So here I can see the progress in each area. So now my layout is linked to my task table. I can also get cars to show you my idea. So let's copy uh, just card and get another one okay and let's remove this and we need to put the area description so and here this is my progress just i will let's make it smaller okay so whenever i click on any area it will give me the area name and the area of progress so this is how it is linked down. See, this is the galleries, technical, offices, okay? And we can use it as a tooltip. How, let me uh, copy this page. So I will duplicate it, okay? And we remove the cards, okay? And we can make this one this is just let me remove the title and i'll make it as small as i can very small i'll choose the page and go to format okay and go to page size and make it tooltip okay and also i have to go to page information and make this tooltip okay so page information and page size fine again I'm, I'm now this is the format of the page okay and let me rename this page now call it uh, ground floor layout okay and let me remember this table, uh, this report, I will make a new report. I will call it ground floor report. Okay, and in the filter, I will, use, I will choose podium. Okay, and let me choose the ground floor. And let me get the podium areas uh, slicer. So I will copy this slicer. Okay, and let me get the bottom areas. So here, ground floor, these are the galleries and these are the activities of the galleries, right? Okay, if I want to show you the layout, show the layout here, I can just choose the tool tip. Okay, and this is showing the information of the table. I can choose the tool tip that I prepared. So this is the one, ground floor layout, see? same name if i change it, this one i added the uh, triple x's for example okay i put just to show you that this is my tooltip okay go to my report and go to choose the visual first okay go to tooltip and i will choose the one yes triple x's here so this is uh, galleries the galleries will pop up here, so it will be highlighted. So this is where the galleries is. This is a, a main hall. See the main hall highlighted. Offices. These are the offices. This is the stores. And this is the technical. So that's all about synoptic. Okay. Uh, visual and uh, we i showed you how to adjust your layout how to link it to your power pi how also to use it as a tooltip so now i can tell you that we finished our course this is everything and starting from next session we are going to do our full example okay so if you missed anything if you have anything that's uh, not clear we will repeat it again in our full example and see you next session